This segment is brought to you in part by Ceresto. Well, summer is quickly approaching, and that means more fun outside with our four-legged friends. So, of course, I took this opportunity to show off my little Nico. There we are. He is my running buddy, although he doesn't go more than 50 feet. Uh, we certainly enjoy exploring new places in the summer, but the warm weather can also increase dangerous pets, pests like fleas and ticks. So joining us now is veterinarian Dr. Lisa Lippman with some tips on how to keep our dogs safe this season. Good morning, Dr. Lisa. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I have lots of questions. Um, you know, I think a lot of us think of fleas and ticks as just they're a nuisance. They're annoying, but they can actually cause health issues. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah. So I always think I think I always say I think ticks are going to take over the world. They carry <laughs> more and more disease every year and they're really hard to kill. And so we know that ticks can carry thousands of tick-borne disease, not just Lyme disease like we're familiar with, but yeah. Ehrlichia, Anaplasma, things you can't pronounce and don't want to have to. Um, and fleas as well. We tend to think of them as a nuisance, but actually in parts of the country, fleas can carry the bubonic plague. Oh, and oh. so they're just not something we want to mess with. No way. It's, you know, it's so funny. I only let my dog on my bed one day a week. That's his special day. And he shook the other day and I was like, fleas, joking. But this is actually a serious place. Now, I did not see fleas, but what are some of the more likely places that our dogs can pick up fleas? Yeah, so they can pick up fleas in infested areas, of course, outdoors, but it is such a misnomer that indoor pets cannot pick up fleas. Mm -hmm. They can live in carpet, in soft bedding, and things like that. And so I see both fleas on dogs and cats, even cats who live indoors who mm. never go outdoors. So they can pick them up almost anywhere. Gosh, these fleas are powerful little suckers, aren't they? Yeah. So, so as, as a pet owner, what is the best advice to protect against these pets, pests? Yeah, yeah, that's what they are. Um, consistency is really important. You don't want that lapse. It can really result in an expensive flea infestation where you have to leave your house and bomb your whole house. It's, it's really awful. Um, so consistency is really important. A lot of flea and tick products uh, have you give them every 30 days. Mm -hmm. uh, I happen to love the Ceresto collar, which lasts for eight months, is wow. a very cost-effective <clears throat> a very cost effective option at about eight dollars a month okay. uh, and again lasts for eight months and it just it's it's a no thought no brainer no thought no brainer before we get to Soresto I do wonder because we've seen recently that the ticks have been uh, have been an issue here in the Northeast so if we see a tick on our pet what's the best way to take it off so the best way to remove a tick is to use a tweezer. They do have tick twisters like that are meant to remove oh, yeah, ticks yeah, that yeah. you can buy if you're not confident with your tweezer skills. But you can take a tweezer, get as close to the face, as close to your pet skin as possible, and just use gentle pressure. You have to be really patient mm. with it. You hold on to it and you use gentle pressure to pull back on it. You don't want to squeeze the tick too hard because you could rupture it and you could um, initiate more disease right. like that. Right. So just gentle pressure. And then to remove it, you either want to, because they, they, they survive anything. So you either want to flush it down the toilet, you want to wrap it in a piece of tape and throw it out or throw it in some alcohol. They die that way. Wrap it in a piece of tape. <laughs> Ticks and fleas, they are going to outlive us all. Holy smokes. So now I want to get back to something you mentioned, the Soresto collar. Um, for those of us not familiar, how does the Soresto collar actually work? Yeah, so it's, it's really neat. You put it on your pet and it has patented release technology that as your pet walks and moves, it spreads throughout their oil glands and even gets to the tip of their tail, the tip of their toes, exactly. This, this picture, I love that, it says it all. <laughs> um, and it just constantly releases a low level of, uh, of the Soresto product that keeps them safe from fleas and ticks. I feel I, I am I am trail walking with my dog right now so much and I just feel so protected with her having it on. Yeah, because it's also it's easy to forget to reapply if you do it the exactly. old fashioned way. So this way, Soresto exactly. collar, no worries. Eight it's months. on there eight yep. months. And now I'm going to think and about those blue and yellow, blue and green arrows going across. <laughs> across exactly. I, I, exactly. Um, today, t tomorrow, Soresto is hosting a pop up event. I love it. It's in Union Square. Tell us what's happening there. 
Yeah, so across from the Union Square Dog Park, if you're familiar with that, it's mm -hmm. tomorrow. Uh, I will be there answering any pet questions that you have. Also, my good friend, the hugging dog, Lubatina, uh, also known as Luby, will be there to give you hugs. <laughs> uh, they have uh, they have a Soresto uh, pop-up truck with puppuccinos and biscuits. They have a pet character caricature artist. Uh, they have photo booth. They have giveaway. They're giving away Soresto collars as well as uh, Fitbits. GPS trackers and oh, wow. uh, lots of other fun things. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's Come awesome. ask me all your questions. I know exactly. You're going to be there. That's <laughs> going to be fantastic. And there's a lot of pet lovers who like to post pictures. You know exactly who you are. They can actually win some prizes through Soresto's Summer of Joy sweepstakes on Instagram. How do they do this? Yes, the Summer of Joy sweepstakes. So all they have to do is post a picture of their pet enjoying their summer and use the hashtags uh, Soresto Summer and hashtag sweepstakes. And uh, they can be entered to win Soresto collars, again, the Fitbit GPS uh, tracker, as well <laughs> as lots of other fun prizes. It needs to be entered uh, by June 27th, so don't delay. And uh, yeah, it's going to be so fun. It's going to be fun. Thank you so much, Dr. Lisa. Chalk, yeah, thanks chalk, for having me. Absolutely, chock full of information. You at home, don't forget to head to Union Square tomorrow from 9 to 1 for the pop up event. And if you'd like more information about the Soresto collar, head to the website on your screen or to pix11.com.